I made this. So we're walking up to the unit for the first time and we're gonna get ready for our job today. We're cleaning uh, the Excel show here. Um, they got a beautiful pyramid of glass out front that uh, sits on an angle. And uh, we're gonna roll it up out front, hook it to the water supply and to the mains and walk up to the machine and turn it on. So the initializing is over, it jumps direct into the DI panel and this is the performance you want to see when you want to work with. So you have the zero ppm level. Um, to go to the um, first stage, this is the pre-filter and it shows you the incoming TDS value as well as the amount of liters and the temperature. And the next one is the RO membrane which shows you here it goes in with 251 and goes out with 19 ppm. The same is on the next RO as they are run in parallel. And finally, you get back to your um, DI panel where it shows really again the zero. So, so we've been working for a couple hours, I want to take a break. If you take a break, you just push the stop button and then um, you can take a break and up to one hour it won't flush again. So sometimes um, you don't want to have that flushing mode again. So if you start again, you just rotate the button back to work, you see the system status and then you're good to go. So here we're turning off the system for the day and at the end the unit is going to be performing its system shutdown procedures. And this takes about a minute. Like there, it takes about a minute, it counts down and then you know um, when, you, when, you're, when you're ready. So we would describe right. this to the operator as when it's finished it's safe to move it. Right. If you put in the word safe often then someone may follow it. Six, five. Four, three, two, one. Now it's ready to be turned back on again. Right. You wanted that. Okay. You know you wanted that. Come on. Touring, <laughs> <laughs> there are several ones which show you when you really don't know what to do in these two minutes, <laughs> or when your system's ready, you want to flush out the, the air. Rotate the button, hook up your water supply, install your poles, and install your wastewater exit. I know it's rotating. All right, so in here, in, inside the top of the carbon in the DI, there's a little yellow button, and it's used for two purposes. One, after reinstallation, there's air that could be trapped at the top of the container. So occasionally, from time to time, you'll push the button to release the air out. And two, since the unit operates under pressure, when you do want to change the filter, you'll want to release the pressure before you open the top of it so that it uh, doesn't putting water all over the place. 